Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film a uh, empties video because I literally have had this Bare Minerals bag full of empties for so long and I just keep neglecting to film it that I finally was like, Lindsay, sit down, film the empties so you can throw them away. Because like yes, or not yesterday, yeah yesterday I filmed a couple videos and then as I was getting ready for bed I like washed my face and then went into my closet and I was like, ugh. Why didn't I film an empties video? So, we're going to film it today. So, um, let's just get going, right? Do you guys want to go through my trash with me? I think you do. That's why you're watching this video. The first thing is this Tresemme dry shampoo. I absolutely love this stuff. I literally have gone through probably eight to 15 bottles of this stuff. I've talked about it in my favorites videos. I've talked about it in other empties videos. I'm just letting you know that I absolutely love it. I use it on clean hair, dirty hair, any kind of hair. Love it. Go get yourself some. I've already repurchased and I actually have probably like three or four as a backup in my closet. Um, the next thing is this Aussie Sprunch. Sprunch? Yeah. Aussie Sprunch hairspray. Um, I liked this. There's other hairspray that I like more, and there's also, um, I have like also a bunch of other hairsprays that I need to use up before I repurchase this, but for the most part, I liked this. Um, I would get out of the shower and I'd put a couple of like leave-in products and then some gel and mousse and stuff, and then just kind of sprunch my hair with this, and then just wore it kind of curly the next day, so definitely, I won't be repurchasing this coughed sorry I won't be repurchasing this but if I did and only because I have like a ton of other hairsprays but if I didn't I would repurchase this so yeah um this is kind of random and I have tons of them but I have tons of the pH balance secret deodorant love this stuff seriously smells so freaking fresh L my little pitties love it I don't know I like it slap it under there helps with antiperspirant <laughs> Um, the next deodorant empty that I have is this Clinical Strength Smooth Solid. Absolutely love this stuff. I picked this up a four pack at my Sam's Club for like just under $17. So I absolutely love it. This works great as well. There's not very much product in here for how much they charge for it, but still it's cheaper at Sam's Club. So I picked this up. Um, the deodorant I won't be repurchasing because I have a ton of other deodorant to use. Uh, first, same with the clinical because I have backups because obviously I buy it at Sam's Club. So yeah, the next thing I has I has the next thing I have is this Briogeo Briogeo. I don't know. You guys correct me if I'm saying it wrong. Don't despair. Repair, repair deep conditioning mask and I got this in my Ipsy bag a couple months ago and I really liked this. It smelled really fresh. It was more of like a gel consistency to me more than like a conditioner but as you can see I use this. I think I got three uses out of this but I won't be repurchasing it just because there's other hair masks that I like more that are well easier attainable than having to order this online but yeah for the most part I liked it. Um, the next empty I have is this Oscar Blondie um, at home shine glaze and this is just something that you put on your hair um, after you shampoo and condition it. It's just supposed to add extra shine into your hair. Um, it was like a little foil packet sample. I liked it. Didn't buy the full size though. Um, the next thing is this Tresemme Flawless Curls Curl Locking All Day Lasting Curls Defines and Holds Styling Spray. Love this. This is a holy grail. Grell. I will never be without this product. Um, this is one of the things that I like to get out of the shower. Put it in my hair when it's wet after I put all like my leave-in conditioner and stuff like that. Love it. I'm going to get myself a drink. But yeah, definitely love this. Um, I think I have two as a backup and then one that's about halfway used. So love this stuff. I will be repurchasing it when all those are gone. Um, the next thing is this Bedhead Small Talk. This is hair product that you put in your hair. Um, I used to love this a lot. It smells divine, let me just tell you. All the Bedhead products smell so good. Seriously, this one smells like grape candy. But um, this is like, it's a thickener for your hair. So I put this in when it was wet, just at my roots. But I won't be repurchasing it. I liked it. I just didn't think it did anything spectacular for my hair. So I will not be repurchasing that. 
Um, the next thing in this monstrosity of trash are these um, Renewing Moroccan Oil Argan Conditioner, Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I have, okay, these at my work went down to 91 cents for a two pack. So I literally purchased 20, 20 probably of these babies. So no, I will not be repurchasing them because I have a million still that I have to go through. But I don't hate this, but I don't love it. This condition, this shampoo and conditioner is sulfate free, so it does not lather very well. So I feel like it's not getting my hair clean. And this girl right here only washes her hair once a week, twice if you're lucky. And so when I actually wash my hair, I want to fill the lather. And so I have a hard time with this. It, it leaves my hair feeling clean, but while I'm in the shower, it's, it's weird. It's weird. So have a million of these so I won't be repurchasing because I have a ton. Oops. The next thing is this Into the Wild Body Spray from Bath and Body Works. Loved this. This stuff smelled so delicious. In fact, my sister gave it to me, so I made this last forever because while she was in Paraguay, um, I would spray this and it made me miss her because I actually gave it to her for Christmas and then she gave it back to me when she left. And I cherish this because it reminded me of the way she smelled. So, mmm, ah, just reminds me of her and her little cute self. But yes, um, I would repurchase this, but there's so many other Bath and Body Works flavors that I like and a ton of my beauty closet. But this is a great flavor into the wild. Delicious. Um, the next thing is this um, Back to Basic Apple Ginseng Volumizing Shampoo. I picked this up at Big Lots for $2.50. Um, it was just a good deal. Just a, It's supposed to be a thickening shampoo, volumizing, but won't repurchase this. It wasn't anything special. The next thing is this, okay, this still has stuff in it, but I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's the Pantene Expert Age Defy All Day Thickening Treatment. This stuff literally left me and my mom's hair feeling like there was a wax coating on it. So I don't know if it was the PVP in it or what, because there's Panthenol in there too. So I don't know if it was the PVP or the PPG in it. I don't know, but it definitely left our hair feeling like there was like a wax coating on it and we did not like that. So I will not be repurchasing that whatsoever. The next thing is this Matrix Color Smart Protecting Luminating System and it's the step three in the four care system for the Matrix Color line. Um, and this was a shine cream. I liked it. It wasn't anything special. I have very thin hair thin and fine hair, so I don't do very well with a lot of hair products in it because, oh, it smells good. forgot how that smelled. Um, it definitely makes my hair feel weighed down, so I will not be repurchasing this. The next thing is this Equate Strengthening um, Nail Polish Remover. This was great. I have a couple, di I always buy the Equate or the Kroger brand, but um, I already have a backup of this. I use this religiously. It's just a good, cheap um, fingernail polish remover. I've heard that Target, the Target brand has a up and up or whatever the Target brand is, has a really good, um, line as well that I need to try. Um, the second thing is this, it's like a little travel size Gillette. Ooh, there's a hair in my empties. Um, Gillette men's deodorant. Sometimes I have some stinky armpits, so I need to step it up and get myself some men deodorant, but this is a little sample that's great for travel. Like when you're going in extra hot humidity climates, but I really like this. It smelled fresh and all day long. Like I would be like, Ooh, what smells like a sexy man? Ooh, that's me. And then I would feel like I was laying with a hot man all day. So definitely loved this. The next thing is this perfume of the Juicy Couture, and this is the Couture. I used all this up. I lost the lid to it, but this is a very delicious scent. It is more of a floral scent, so if you're a fruity or a food scent lover, you will not like this. It is definitely a floral, musky scent, but <sighs> smells good. Um, I will not be repurchasing this because I have so many perfumes that... It would be retarded too because I need to use what I have. So the next thing is another deodorant. It's this Degree deodorant. It was good. Nothing special. If I feel like it, I'll repurchase this. But like I said, I have so many other 
deodorants I need to go through. Um, then I have this. I have a lot of hair care. Can you tell that I go through a lot of hair care? Especially for not washing my hair a lot, huh? So um, the next I have is Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse um, Volumizing 2. So I like this. There, It wasn't anything special. Um, I would repurchase it. Maybe I'd try a different brand. It was just great. Yeah. It, it was okay. It wasn't anything spectacular. Um, the next thing is an, um, an Aussie Hair Insurance Heat Protectant Shine Spray. So this is a heat protectant. The sprozzle, the spray, the nozzle, whatever, broke on it. So I had to put my chi nozzle. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know. Well, this was great. Um, I've repurchased this. I have an extra in my bathroom that I'm currently using as we speak. So this was great. The next thing I have is this um, E-Tech. It's the Art Texture Line Volume Conditioner. Um, this was great. It wasn't anything spectacular. It's discontinued, so I won't be repurchasing it again because you cannot get it. But, yeah, it was all right. Um, the next thing is the conditioner to that Back to Basic shampoo that I got at um, Big Lots for $2.50. This is the Coconut. It's for thick, coarse hair. And this one is the Coconut Mango. So, yeah, I won't be repurchasing it. It wasn't anything spectacular, but, yeah. The next thing is this Matrix Amplify um, Thickening. How do you say that? Thickening, like, liquid volumizer, however you want to say that. This is awesome. Um, I got it for $15. I actually already have bought and repurchased this as a backup, which I use also. Just put it on my roots, kind of scrunch some through my end. And be careful with this because it definitely makes your roots feel sticky. So if you're going to blow dry or straighten your hair, it will definitely give you that crispy, crunchy feel. So be a little bit careful on how much you use of this. But I love this. I'll re I've already repurchased it. Um, the next thing, one is this bath and body spray. Again, old packaging. You can see how old this is. This was the flavor Sweet Pea. It was delicious. I won't be repurchasing Sweet Pea again because there's so many other flavors that are better to me. Um, the next thing is this Bioterra. So this is the generic version that you can get at Sally's of Biolage. And this is the Reconstructing Conditioner. Um, it was good. I will repurchase this. I just love treatments for your hair. Let me see what's in the ingredients. Ooh, a lot of amino acids. Yeah, so there's some good stuff in here. Like this, I definitely recommend that. Um, the next thing is this. Okay, I did not love this whatsoever. But this is the Waterless Foam Moisturizing um, Dry Shampoo. Definitely weird. Like literally I only used like this much of it because I did not love it at all. This is probably a product that you would love if you put dry shampoo in your hair at night. So that way when you wake up it's dry. But Or also if you would put it and then re-blow dry your hair. But I ain't got time for that. I have to be to work early in the morning. I ain't got time for that. So definitely will not be repurchasing this because I didn't even finish it. It's clearly a full bottle. So, yep. The next thing is this Matrix Vavoom Shape Maker Extra Hold Hairspray. I actually have two backups of these. I got these at Ulta on Black Friday, so I definitely stocked up. So I will not be repurchasing it, but only because I already have backups. I'm running out of room to put everything. The next are these. Cotton rounds, and I think you get these at the dollar store. The dollar store or Walmart, I don't remember, but um, 80 rounds for super cheap. I like them to take off my eye makeup, my eyeliner, my mascara, all that kind of stuff. Um, I have, I know that you can buy a ton of them at Costco. If you guys have a Costco membership, you can buy a lot at Costco for, they're like the Swiss brand. I think it's called Swiss, but I just get mine cheap at the dollar store. But yeah, I definitely love these. I'll repurchase those for sure because they're cheap. The next is this Equate AM Refreshing Facial Cleanser with Energizing Beads. I did not finish all of this because I just found like it was not taking off the dirt in my extra makeup that I have left on my skin. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again using my Clarisonic because I kind of forgot about it. But I will not be repurchasing this as of right now. The next thing is one of my Holy Grail products. It's the Now Solutions European Clay Powder. It's a face mask. Love it. Super love it. It's a clay mask, so it will suck all that disgusting stuff that creeps up into your pores. And it also says that it helps minimize pores. 
and it minimizes oily skin type so it's a detoxification mask so this is awesome I get it on Amazon I will leave the link down below it's between five to seven dollars depending if they're gonna charge you shipping or not but I literally already have three of these in my beauty closet and my mom has one as well so definitely repurchase this because I love it Whew, I didn't realize I had so much shit in my trash trash I mean sorry didn't mean to swear the next thing is this herbal essence leave-in protector um, this was great it smelled it smelled more fabulous than it did anything for your hair but yeah it smells delicioso so this is really good I won't be repurchasing it because I didn't think it was anything spectacular I don't even know if you can still buy it who knows um, I have a couple more perfumes. I have this Nolly perfume that I picked up at PacSun. It's probably like between $20 and $30. I love the way it smells. I used to wear this when I was in high school, so it definitely brings back like high school memories, but love it. Won't be repurchasing it because I have so many other perfumes, but if I ever decide to get a new one, this would probably be one that I would consider. I have an, um, another perfume. This is Midnight or Twilight Woods from Bath and Body Works. When I first got this, I really loved it. It's very much a musky scent, and I used to absolutely freaking love it, but then over time it gave me a headache, so the longer I wore it. So I definitely will not be repurchasing that because I hate headaches. And clearly that gave me one. We're getting to the bottom. This is another perfume. It is the Mariah Carey. I think it's the Forever one. Loved it. Smelled delicious. It did its job. People told me it smelled good. Made me not stink, so definitely like it. Won't be repurchasing it because there's plenty other perfumes that I like more. And then I have a Moroccan Argan Oil Penetrating Oil. Definitely not a good enough reason to use the word penetrate. Name that movie. Pitch Perfect. Ah, love that show. But yeah, um, this came with that shampoo and conditioner set that I showed you earlier. So I definitely will not be repurchasing this because I have the, one of these comes with all those sets. But I literally use this every day. I put this in my hair every night and every morning because with me um, bleaching my hair so much, it's super dry that my hair sucks this stuff up ridiculously. It loves it. Thinks it's great. It's its best friend. Um, I also have a Brazilian keratin therapy. This is the anti-breakage serum. I really like this. As soon as I'm done with all those Moroccan oils, I'll probably pick up more of these because I really liked this version of it. Loved it. And I have another perfume. Surprising. I'm going to smell like a French whorehouse after I'm done with this video. Yummy. This is the True Religion Hippie Chick. Smelt delicious. This, would, this perfume is probably in my top 15 favorite perfumes. Love it. Smells delicious. Smells delicious. I would repurchase that if I decide to ever repurchase more perfume. Um, the My last two empties are this Beautiful Leg Sunless Tanning Jelly from Basque. I love this stuff and I cannot find it anywhere. It's a tanning gel and it smells so delicious and it does not leave you orange. And it is so much cheaper than the St. Tropez. Ugh. But I have Googled this. I have Amazoned this. I have Ebayed this. And I cannot find this. So if you guys can find me this Basque Beautiful Legs and it is in, it's the tanning jelly. So it's a gel. Okay. If you can find me this, I will love you forever. Comment down below. Leave me a link. Hit me up on Twitter. Comment on Instagram. Do whatever you got to do. Just let me know where you found it. And my very last empty, and I have 15 of these, so I am only going to show you one, is this Youth Code Pore Vanisher. Love this stuff. Definitely going to be purchasing a full size when I get through the rest of my little samples that I got sent. Love it. Love this stuff. So, we made it through my trash. And that's all for my empties. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give me a thumbs up. Like it is the same as thumbs up. So just comment down below. Let's talk. Hit me up on Twitter. Follow me on my social medias. Do whatever you want. Just thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Okay. Bye guys.